Hey guys, welcome to the Hacked Existence demo on how to chain the Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark V with the Burp Suite proxy. So basically I have an Android device here that's connected to the Pineapple um, over the wireless. The Pineapple is wired to the computer that we're looking at and that computer has a wireless route out to the internet. So I'm just going to load up CNN.com here on the browser on this Android device and you can see instantly our web requests start filling into this HTTP history tab on Burp Proxy. And the website loads up just fine on my Android device here. I'm looking at the CNN homepage. Um, but you can see all of the external files that are loaded to build this page are also in here. And using the intercept tab, we can do things like uh, inspect them and modify them in real time uh, before passing those responses back to our client. Okay, so now let's take a look at how to implement this attack. So basically I've done a factory reset on the Mark V. If you boot your Mark V in wireless client mode, none of this is going to work because the routing will be all messed up. So this demo really assumes that you've just reformatted your Mark V. It's all default settings. I went in with my Android device wirelessly connected to it and did the initial configuration where you set the password, but that's about it. So our laptop here is wirelessly connected to a network that has a route out to the internet so I can ping google.com and get a response. And basically I'm just going to plug in the ethernet cable from this laptop into the pineapple now. So if you google around you can find this script called wp5.sh and it's basically internet connection sharing. It's from Hack5. Um, just google for it and you'll find it. And it sets up internet connection sharing between the pineapple and a host machine that has a route out to the internet uh, by doing some IP tables work. So I did a little bit of modification for it to make this stuff work. Basically, the pineapple is looking for a route out to the internet through a gateway that's at 172.16.42.42. So your ETH0 has to have that IP address. Otherwise, your traffic that's coming from your wireless interface on your pineapple uh, won't flow through your laptop. Um, so I added that to this script. This wasn't there to begin with. All of this stuff was there, um, but I added a few extra things. So here we have uh, a question to enable port forwarding on port 80 for burp, and the same thing on port 443. And then down at the bottom here, if you say yes to those two, um, we have if enable 80 forwarding is yes. Then it runs this IP tables command that basically forwards all traffic that's destined for port 80 to 8080 and the same thing for 443 to port 8080. And we're going to use that to hijack that traffic from burp. Um, so I'll just go ahead and run this script right now and you can see that it's set eth0 uh, to 172.16.42.42. And you basically need to configure all of this. Um, luckily, it's all default for me. I'm going to go ahead and enable port forwarding on 80 for burp. And again, for 443. And so you can see now these uh, we've set this port forwarding. So if you connect with a wireless device to the pineapple right now, all of your web traffic will have no route uh, out to the internet because it's all routed through 8080. And there's nothing listening for it yet. So what we have to do is load up Burp Suite, and in our Burp proxy here, we're going to go to the options, and we're going to add a new proxy listener, and we're going to put that on the IP address uh, that the pineapple is using as a gateway to the internet, and we're going to bind that to port 8080, uh, because we forwarded all the traffic destined for 80 and 443 to 8080. Um, over here we're going to do invisible proxying because we haven't configured any proxy settings on our victim devices. Um, we don't want them to know that their traffic is being proxied. So we'll go ahead and turn that on and that's running now. So now if I pull up my Android device here and go to CNN.com you can see all the traffic is now flowing through here. Um, and with intercept turned on you can actually intercept and modify all of these headers and all the packet data um, before sending it through or dropping it or forwarding it or you can just turn intercept off and watch all the traffic that shows up in here. Okay so what we just saw was a demo on how to use the Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark V to tunnel traffic from its victims through Burp Suite proxy on a laptop. The WP5.sh script is available for download on hackedexistence.com, so stay tuned and thanks for watching.